that you've learned about all the amazing capabilities of Azure Policy, let's talk about how you can easily get started. Here, when you land onto the Azure portal, you can simply search for the service by typing up policy. I will click onto here to land onto the overview experience where most likely if you haven't made any policy assignment, it's just going to be an empty screen. However, when you go onto the definition page, you will already have dozens of policy definitions already created on your environment. You can see all these options that you can simply get started by assigning them. In this example, I'm going to look up how I can restrict the location of the resource creation. So let's take a look at this policy that allows me to express what are the locations that are allowed. I'm checking that if the resource location isn't in one of the allowed locations that I've expressed, then deny the resource creation. The resource location not equals global and the B2B directories are in there because the, there are some special case resources like network where the resource location is literally called global. Since we don't want to actually block any resource, uh, any network resources or active directories, um, active directories, B2C directories, we are going to exclude them from the policy evaluation. So now that our policy definition is ready, let's assign this policy definition. I'm going to provide the scope in which the policy is going to impact. Once I've selected the subscription that I'm interested in, it means that all of the resources that belong to the, uh, to the subscription must abide by the policy. I can put in an exclusion, meaning that any child management group, subscription, resource group, or resources will be exempt from the policy. In this case, because I've selected a subscription for my policy scope, I can exclude the child management groups or resources. I'm going to provide a clear name of what is allowed. So let's say, for example, um, US regions allowed. Only US regions are allowed for resource creation for this subscription. All others will be denied. You can see here that the policy assignment automatically populated it with my name. Now let's provide a parameter value. Parameter is like a variable that you can provide a value at the time of policy assignment. This allows me to have the same policy definition that I can leverage for different parameter values. So for example, I can, I can only allow US regions for this particular subscription but for another subscription, I may be interested in allowing only the European regions. So here I'm going to select the US regions that I'm going to allow for the resource creation. Once I've assigned this policy, any resources that are outside of re US regions are automatically going to get denied. So let's test what we've just created. I'm going to create a new virtual machine. In the subscription that we've just specified, so Quintoso IT demo subscription, earlier we've excluded the A-management. And so you can create any regions for this particular resource group. So let's select a Contoso resource group. Give a name, select a region that is not in US region. I'm 
fill out the remaining fields. And I'm going to click on the Create. You can see here that it's running the final validation, which failed because of the policy that I have in place. You can see here that the policy that I've just assigned, called US Regions Allowed, has blocked my resource creation request for regions outside of US. If I click onto it, it's going to show me the additional details of the policy assignment. I've known all, I know all the assignment details because I actually created it, but for anyone else who's using the same subscription, um, they can see the additional details of what policy it is that's in place. So for example, I can take a look at the policy definition that's been assigned. I can also see the details that I've just put in, who's assigned it, what are the locations that's been selected. So now that we've successfully assigned a simple policy definition, let's take a look at some other policy definitions that you can get started with. If I get back onto the policy experience and the definitions view, one of the things that you may notice is that you can create a custom policy definition. Policy definition is just the um, JSON language that expresses the if and then condition that you're looking for. I can start my policy definition from scratch, or if I'm looking for some additional samples for my policy, I can also see them from my policy GitHub page. Here, you can see, the, see other policy definitions so that you can get inspired for other options that are available. Let's say that for my storage account, I want to make sure that only HTTP, HTTPS traffic is allowed. Once I'm sure that this is the policy definition that I'm interested in, I can simply click on to Deploy to Azure, which will bring me to the policy definition page with all of the name and the description and the JSON language all populated. This allows me to quickly get started with my policy definition. And that is it on how you can simply get started with the Azure policy. For additional details and other samples that we also have on our Azure documentation page, visit on our governance documentation.